Okay, we're going to do a little miniature scene um, for this set of videos. And uh, I thought this would... Uh, <coughs> you have to excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm having... Well, this weather down here has got us all really messed up pretty bad. But uh, it's a little carpenter. And... Um, He's only three inches high. So, as you can see, the outline of him is his head, and then he's got, his arm sticks out here. And it's going to go basically like this, in other words. So, let's go ahead. And first of all, let's go ahead and separate this head from this. Uh, I may have to go sharpen my knife. I haven't. Uh, I haven't sharpened it lately, but I think it'll work. This figure, by the way, is um, it's one and a half thickness <coughs> by about three inches uh, long three inches tall I mean in other words so uh, my voice is a little hoarse we're uh, everybody's experiencing really cold weather right now and uh, we're experiencing also but our problem down here is it gets hot cold hot cold hot cold hot cold and so we have a lot of sickness, a lot of allergies, a lot of things like that. Okay, this is going to go across here and then come up there like that, in other words. Okay. Yeah, I might have to go sharpen my knife. I'll cut as long as I can. All right. <coughs> Number one, this uh, kind of get this okay. little piece of basswood all right well so we have this arm which is going to come back this way because it's going to be sticking out okay as you see and then we have this arm which is going to be coming down like this okay because it's going to be holding a hammer okay and let me cut that there and we're going to remove this here now what we want to do on all this is always come around the middle of it and we're going to cut our uh, we don't want to cut too much off because then as we bring it together, we want to make sure that we have plenty of room, which we will have. Okay.
All right, you see that? See, that's how it's going to be sticking out. So we continue to get this down. Please forgive me. Like I said, I'm right now. I think everybody's uh, having problems. Of course, I have coughing anyway because I have a GERD real bad, and or LPR as we call it. But and I have horrible post nasal drips. So I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not, I won't get into that. <laughs> but those of you that have it know it's it's very very difficult to to uh, control okay of course head as you can see I move around just basically and the reason I'm moving around is because so that I can sort of keep a, a proportion of what I want right in here. If you excuse me for one minute, I'm going to sharpen this knife just a bit. Be right back. I forgot to uh, sharpen my knife. Um, before I started, and uh, I don't like that. Much better. Just kind of moving around the. the um, piece here hmm it's a little odd we uh, we've had a little cool weather but we're starting to get a little rain now so you might hear a little rain in the background we haven't been having any but we're getting a little bit now. I have just about decided that um, I'm not going to stay in this area. I'm going to try to just sell my house as a shell. Try to settle with the insurance company who they're just giving me all kind of problems. And um, move to Kentucky to be with my son. I, I just. I just don't want to go through this no more. I don't. I don't want to go through this weather or losing my house again. Of course, I know you can lose your house, but I mean, to a hurricane again. Um, it's the second time I'm going through this, and I've just decided it's not worth it anymore. Okay, now let's continue to take some as we take it off, of course, the the uh, the uh, arm comes forward
All right, now let's kind of look at it. It's going to be kind of a humorous uh, carving. Coming in between the legs, taking a little off in here. The wonderful thing about carving is there's so many scenarios that you can do and enjoy doing and have a good time doing it. And um, just give you up the pleasure of doing it. So I hope before the end of the year, not the end of two this year but I mean uh, I hope by the summer of, of 2018 I'll be in Kentucky um, I'll let you all know my son has a big enough uh, area there that I can he wants me to move a little trailer or little home on his property there so I can help them with the grandkids and just be a part of their life and as most of you know my son that is the only son I, I have I have us uh, two stepdaughters but that was the only child that uh, I was able to have uh, with uh, my first wife that died of cancer very young age so and he has blessed me with three beautiful grandchildren if you follow me on Facebook uh, you see their pictures I put their pictures up a lot in fact one of them just had a birthday yesterday 29th of December okay now here we go uh, what we want to do is, if you look at this clearly, we want to cut into here, okay? We want to cut down because, but you want to be real careful because the thumb is going to be sticking up here, okay? And so we want to kind of cut back on this. And we continue to take off some more here because there's going to be a hammer. As you can then see, basically what this scene is going to be is uh, he's got a hammer in this hand. And we'll carve that and make that put it in his hand. And he hits his thumb and then his thumb's going to be, uh, um, his thumb's going to be, white, uh, you know, swollen. So, uh <clears throat> A little carpenter type now when you get in between these in here you want to be real careful and not um, not get too rambunctious or put a lot of pressure on it I'm gonna make a cut in here because it's going to be like this. There we go. See? And he's going to be a little carpenter. Do, do, do. There we go. Now, we're going to kind of just 
this is going to be kind of So we just, now what we want to do, where's my pencil, there it is, <clears throat> which I just dropped. <coughs> We're going to go ahead and draw where the hand would be right in here, okay? Uh, I cannot keep my pencil. Remember how we used to put it on our, uh, we take our pencils and we put them on our ears, back side of our ears. I guess people still do that. I used to be bad about putting it in my mouth, uh, the pencil, you know, when I'm working with it, especially would work and stuff like that. I would put it in my mouth and that's not really the best thing in the world. Now, I want to tell you a story about that situation that happened with a friend of mine. Uh, he had a daughter that loved to play golf. Now, I know this is going to sound strange. This is really going to sound like a very strange story. And I thought he was kind of exaggerating <coughs> until I actually talked to his daughter who was undergoing the problems of this. And um, she was a golfer. She loved to play golf. And she got into a habit of taking wooden tees. Now, I, I guess wooden, most tees now, uh, golf, golf tees, or most of them are, I guess they're still wooden. I don't know. They may be plastic now. I'm not sure. I don't play golf, so I don't know. But she used to take a wooden tee, and as she was playing, she would be kind of have that wooden tee in her mouth and sucking on it. And um, he told me that she used to do that all the time as a young girl, in other words, because she was, I don't know, she just got in that habit. I don't know how people get into a habit. It's kind of like putting a pencil in your mouth and working with it and things like that. But come to find out, uh, she, uh, she started feeling bad one day. And... Um, she went to the doctor and uh, they did up some blood tests and found out she had a kind of an unusual form of cancer and um, they um, now that this was a long time ago so I'm sure that things are but come to find out it was the it was the dye or the coloring that she had been sucking on these 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 golf tees, and it was the uh, dye or the coloring in the tees. She had gotten through her bloodstream, you know. She had done it so much, and uh, she had cancer. And they couldn't figure out what it was, and they that's when they began to 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 do, and figured it out that that she had actually gotten it from from the dye off of the golf tees, the wooden golf tees and stuff. Now, I know that dye, the old-timey dye, um, uh, did cause cancer because I had a brother-in-law who worked in a newspaper print thing and, and uh, ink, you know, and dye and stuff like that and got uh, uh, cancer from it, from working as a news, new, he was a newsprinter. In other words, so uh, I thought the guy was lying to me or just exaggerating, but come to find out it was true. And um, that, you know, I don't know why that came to mind, but it was just, you know, about putting, we have to be real careful putting things in our mouths. Uh, that, that was just very interesting what happened to her in that situation. Um, so she really, uh, 
Okay, let me get my pencil here. She, uh, and like I said, this was this was a long, long time ago. So, so the dye that maybe was used in a lot of golf tees back then. Okay, let's let's come back here and let's just sort of make that were used in golf tees back then probably was toxic most likely uh, we're finding out so much that uh, of course that they, they oh they warn us about uh, the paint and the, and the things that they used uh, uh, in children's toys overseas a lot of times is has a lead base to it and you really have to be careful so you know children are suck in on toys or put them in their mouths and stuff like that so it was an interesting scenario that happened to this young lady she's all right she's still alive uh, they were able to you know do something about it but that's a unusual uh, deal there you know all right I kind of cut in between the legs right in here I'm gonna put coveralls on him I think uh, when I'm through with it and let's go ahead and cut the hand right here we cut it and then we come from the inside okay just like that and we're gonna cut Kind of the in there, but that was a very interesting scenario. There, I would have never in, in the world believed that anyone could have. Um, and I'll let, you know, we all have nervous ticks, folks. Uh, I've, I've actually seen you know people put. Uh, I used to be like this. I used to, like I said, I'd stick the uh, the ink pen in my mouth, not the ink side, but I mean the, uh, and uh, I never thought about that at times, but when I'm working, you know, or doing something like that, otherwise you would drop it, so. They know a lot more nowadays, folks. I mean, I remember as a, working in a uh, refinery down here. I mean, we, we, we did things that just, I mean, I don't know how in the world we're, all, we're still alive. We, we, of course, we didn't know. We didn't know that these things were harmful to us. Uh, they found out a lot of things like cigarettes. They, you know, of course, found out that they were putting things in cigarettes to make it addictive to people. and. You know, at one time, young people started smoking as a young person and didn't didn't think nothing of it. You know, in fact, it was the thing to do. I remember a young man that I worked with said he started smoking in the military because um, they would have detail. And the guys that smoked, they'd let them have a break to smoke. And the other guys would have to go in the yard and clean up and stuff. And so he said, instead of wanting to go in the yard and clean up, he, uh, <laughs> he started smoking. Which is, uh, you know, now we realize it's not, probably not a very good thing. But, okay. Now look at him, see? We have him here. Um... They've learned a lot of things about a lot of things, about how a lot of that stuff is just terrible for you. All right, now what we want to do, and this is where we're really going to have to be careful. We're going to come here, and we're going to draw a line right here and right here. In other words, we're going to separate where the... Um, Uh, in fact, let's come down a little bit even more. We can even give a little bit more time. Uh, where the where the the thumb it's going to be, and what we want to do, and we want to do it very carefully, is cut 
and begin to separate that from the hand. Now, I don't mean separate it from the hand itself, but there we go. Okay. For instance, the thumb is going to be, uh, let's look at our hands now, okay? So, the hand is going to be like this, so the thumb is going to be to the back side of it, okay? It's going to be closed, so the thumb will be more to the back side. So we have to cut like this, okay? And start bringing that thumb back. But we want to be real, real careful that we don't, I mean, take off very little at a time, see? Take off very little at a time. And don't, you know, because this is a small figure, and we don't want to break it. So as you can see, I'm taking very, and of course the thumb, as we said, the hand is going to be closed like that, and the thumb is going to be up like this. All right, do you see that? So the thumb's going to be toward the back of the hand. So that's what I'm doing. I'm coming back with this. And coming over. Kind of come in here. But as you can see, I'm being very, very careful. I'm not putting a lot of pressure, very little pressure that you want to put on it. And the hand is going to be, it's going to kind of go like this. See, the hand part. And so, and we have to come in here too. And we have to take a little bit off in here, okay? So we want to be real careful not to take too much off at one time. And I'm moving my hand in here. And take it and just barely, like I said, it have to have to move this back. That's the, as you can see from the side there, you see? And it just, just like that, see? And of course, this is going to, as we get it the way we want it, bring because th I want the thumb to stand stand up even more 
here are a few firecrackers because New Year's Eve will be Monday. This is the Saturday that we're doing this. I hope that everybody will have a good New Year. I, as I grow older, New Year, New, I'm sorry, New Year's don't mean a whole lot to me anymore. I mean, it's another year of life, as we say, but, um, separate this right here very small cuts folks very small cuts you don't want to try to take off a lot because you're going to break it if you do you do not want to take off a lot at one time Causes this that causes issues. Okay, now let's just sort of look at it. See, okay. Since it is coveralls, we want to go ahead and just separate our shoes from our trousers or our coverall. There you go. Look at that. Okay. Let's see, let me. Now, the thumb is going to kind of go back just a little bit. Now it's small, it's going to be hard to see. But, but remember, it's just like that. So. See it? Okay. All right, I think that uh, we can end this video for right now. Uh, we'll come back and we'll work on the, the, the arms and the stuff and all that and give ourselves just a little break for a minute let me remove the from there I'm sorry just right into there inside of the Let me come back here and let's bring this down right in here. Because these are coveralls he's wearing. So there will be no All right, well, listen, uh, let's go ahead and end this video for right now, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. And uh, come back and do some more work on him, but he's beginning to have that look to him then. All right, God bless now.